I'm basically, I'm pretty much lost. I, I don't know what to do. You know, when Hurricane Katrina hit, I was really upset because I lost everything, but I had a place to go. You know, this time, I don't have any place to go. We just, we seen a little bit of smoke. We decided to pull the main electric and just leave for the night. We came back by to check on the house, you know, make sure that it wasn't on fire or anything. The smoke was gone. We couldn't barely smell it anymore or anything like that. So we went ahead and left. Yeah, he went home and we went to my friend's house. And then about 2, two or 2.30 in the morning, my ex-brother-in-law came knocking at the door saying that the house was on fire. And went over and it's, it's pretty much gutted. I mean, I'm, I haven't lost it yet, um, but I'm about to. I mean, I just, right now, trying to find a place to live is what's getting to me the most. <coughs> I mean, like I said, we're, we've lost everything before. We're just glad that, you know, we got out with our lives, just like with the hurricane, you know, material things that can be replaced, you know. And I lost, for the second time, all our pictures. Anything that, that connects us with our past is, is gone. Um, but, I mean, that, I'm not so much worried about that. I'm worried about where me and my kids are going to live now. Now, and, and I'm getting to where uh, well, some of the, I hate to even say it, but I'm getting to where I don't even trust God anymore. You know. I don't know. I feel like I'm being punished for something. And I've I've done everything I can to be good and do what I have to do. And, I just don't I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs>